guys, today I'm going to be showing you how I get out of the house in under 10 minutes. And this is kind of my foolproof, quick and easy makeup routine and hair routine. And I hope you guys enjoy it. This is something a little bit different than I typically do. And so if you enjoy this video, please, please, please let me know. Um, what else do I have? Oh, I want to apologize that this is not a lip swatching video. If you saw my video last week, I mentioned that this would be a lip swatch video, but I ordered more of the lipsticks to have a good variety for the video and they are not here yet. So, sorry. Um, I'm also going to be combining my February and March favorites together. So look out for that next month. And this is how I get ready in that under 10 minutes. Enjoy. I've already washed my face and I've washed my hands. I'm going to apply my moisturizer and my primer at the same time. This is something I do to kind of just speed up the process and um, kind of prepare my face for the, the makeup that I'm going to be putting on today. The primer I'm going to be using today is the Porefessional by Benefit. This is one of my favorite primers and I'm almost out of this little tube and I'm gonna have to go buy some more which is sad. So I'm just gonna apply my moisturizer and my primer on my face at the same time. This is a really great way to speed up the process of applying all of your makeup. After I've applied my moisturizer and my primer, I'm going to be using some concealer to cover up all of these blemishes that I don't really want to show because we aren't going to be doing a full face of makeup um, with full coverage foundation. So typically I would just use that and it would cover most of everything up. But today I'm just going to be using some concealer to go over all the spots. This is a very full coverage concealer and it is called Bye Bye Under Eye by It Cosmetics. So I'm just gonna be sticking some on my finger, rubbing it around, a little bit goes a very long way, and then I'm just gonna start covering everything up. So what I do is dab a little bit on, so like, I dab a little bit on with this finger, and then I kinda of blend it out with this clean finger. February has been a very stressful month for me, if you cannot tell. <laughs> so now that I've covered up all of my blemishes, now I'm just going to use what's left over on my finger and go under my eyes to conceal some of the darkness. And I'm also going to be using it on my eye as a um, eyeshadow base. Now that I've covered all of my red spots and under eye darkness, we're going to be moving on to the foundation I use for my at the door quick routine. For my foundation, I'm going to be using Milani's Cream to Powder Foundation. You can find Milani products at CVS, I believe. This is a perfect foundation for a day where you just want to even out your skin tone and not necessarily have on a full coverage foundation. Um, I've used this foundation in several different ways, but using my powder brush, my big fluffy powder brush, has been the most effective way to use this, which is pretty bizarre. This one is in the shade Buff, 09 Buff, and all I'm going to do is get some on my brush and then just kind of start buffing it into the skin. And because the brush is so big, it gets a lot of coverage in a short amount of time. Thank you. 
That's it for foundation. Now we're going to be moving on to bronzing, blush, and highlight, I guess. And I have an all-in-one for that. And it is the Milani Illuminating Face Powder. And as you can see, it kind of has all the tones you need. So it has like a little bit of the rosiness for blush, a little bit of the bronzy colors, and a little bit of the highlighting. And so what I'll do is just take um, another kind of fluffy brush, swirl it around, and then just put it where I would put my bronzer and blush. As you can see, it gives me a little bit of rosiness on the cheeks and it just makes my face not look so flat and easy step, right? Moving on to eyebrows. I am more than happy to just walk out like this with my eyebrows, but I know a lot of people like to fill in their eyebrows. So this is kind of my quick way of filling in my eyebrows and getting out the door. I'm going to be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the shade Auburn. And then I'm just gonna go through and comb out my brows. So I am pretty good in the front area. It's my tail end of my brow that I typically need to fill in. So I'll just start there. And then I will just go along the bottom of my brow. So after I go along the bottom of my brow, I will take the spoolie end and just comb up. And then I will just do a few brush strokes through the brow to distribute the color. Comb it out. Clean up the end one more time. And call it a day. <laughs> Moving on to eyeshadow. On days like these, I like to use a cream eyeshadow and apply it with my finger. It is the quickest, foolproof way to apply eyeshadow and get out of the house. Today I'm going to be using this one and honestly I have no idea who it's by. Um, it does have a little martini glass on the top and on the bottom it says the E-Day Group I don't know who that is. I've never heard of it, but I think I got this in an Ipsy bag a while back. But it is a beautiful cream shadow and it is in the shade Ambrosia. It does come with an applicator, but I find it best and easiest just to apply it with my finger. So I'm gonna take some of the product and start applying. take a little bit more and kind of do it closer to my um, lash line. The same way you would take a clean brush to buff out your eyeshadow, I'm going to take my clean finger and buff it out. So we're done with the eyeshadow, now we're just going to apply mascara. Oh, uh, the mascara I'm using is Lights, Camera, Lashes by Tarte. This is one of my favorite mascaras right now. I love it so, so much. Now I'm going to apply my Sugar Rose Tinted Lip Treatment with an SPF of 15.
And since it's tinted, it does give my lips some color without having to worry about the hassle of lipstick or a lip gloss. And it is moisturizing my lips at the same time. Okay, we're done with makeup. Now we're going to be moving on to hair. So first I'm going to take my Batiste Dry Shampoo and spray, spray, spray. So this is something I've been doing a lot throughout the month of February. One, I think it looks so stylish. And two, it is like the most simple way to make yourself look more put together than you actually are. And all that is, is just put your hair behind your ear, spray it down. Boom. This is my quick and easy way to just get out of the house in like less than 10 minutes. I do this routine more often than I do a full face of makeup. Um, I typically don't wear makeup every day, but sometimes I don't feel like putting a full face of makeup, but I also feel like looking presentable. And so this is kind of my routine that I typically do. And yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't already, please subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos every week. Also, find me on Instagram at Haley Hickman underscore YouTube. And I will see you guys next week. Bye.